If you are a fan of NeoVim and other text-based user interfaces, you're going to love the package I found today, which is a pretty fancy and modern terminal file manager. So the project I'm talking about today is an open source project hosted on github.com by the author Yoru Coat. This is their profile. The coolest thing about them is that they're still in high school and they love open source. These newcomers into program are just getting better and better. But you can see here, this project has 12.2 thousand GitHub stars, 29 people watching, 290 forks. Uh, they have a proper release of version 1.1.7.1 at the time of this recording with 58 contributors. But the coolest part for me has got to be that it is written primarily in Go. So the entire code base here is written in Go. That's actually how I found it. I was just looking at reddit.com slash Golang and this project came to mind and I saw it and it looked absolutely amazing. So the demo video here basically explains everything that Superfile does. It is a text-based file manager. So you go up, open your terminal, you write Superfile and it opens up this very nice slick UI that has so many different panes and windows that allows you to explore different documents, files, all over your computer. So you can see here, there is the navigation pane, there is a preview pane, there's actually even a few different windows that tell you the metadata. So the size of a directory, the size of a file when it was last accessed, it can show you stuff in your clipboard and even running processes. And as this demo shows, it shows you how you can add a new file, make a new directory, copy different directories into a different directory all through your terminal. So I thought this was enough for me to go ahead and try it out. So I went into the installation guide and you can see for Mac OS and Linux, I went ahead, click copy, open up Western, which is the terminal I use. A lot of people have been asking me, it's Western. And also a lot of people have been asking me about how to create this clip art. I mean, it's not hard, just Google it, just how to make text appear when you open up a terminal. It's, it's really not rocket science. But continuing on, let's go ahead and paste the command to install. You can see we get this nice super file. You can see we have to put in our password for pseudo privileges. And there you go. So installation complete. You can now type SPF to start. So I'm going to go ahead and just type SPF. And now we get this beautiful UI that I just think is so clean. It's very reminiscent of NeoVim and my personal NeoVim settings. And it's just exactly what I want for navigating files and documents. I'm going to go into detail of everything you can do with super file. So the very first thing you can see, we are in my slash user slash Melky directory, and we can go through all of these different uh, directories and we can even get the previews of each one. And you can make new windows with N. So now both of these, and you can bounce between them with shift H and shift L. Also it's Vim bindings compatible. So if you use Vim bindings in VS code or just a Vim based editor like new Vim, this works really well to use. You can just navigate through each of these. You can delete one with W, you can open up again. And let's go explore one of these panes. Let's go into document and you can see over on the right hand side, we get a preview of what's within document. So we go into document, we can see different files. Let's go into the front end masters doc uh, folder I have here. And let's just open up one of these projects. This is me just practicing different uh, exercises for front end masters. We can get to front end masters version v1. You can see we have all these previews available to us. I'm actually going to go ahead and close this pane because we don't really need it. But let's go into internal and let's open up some go files. Let's go into store. And you can see right away we see some great previews of the file and these are written in Go, but this works with any other file. Obviously, super file itself is written in Go, but we can go back and again, we can just navigate just with a click of going H and L back and forth. And we can go all the way out to let's say, um, a zig document, we can go into the base 64 encoder, and you can see we even get a preview of zig showing up here as well. And I just think it's super clean, super powerful. And if you're going to be someone like me who actually chose to stop using VS code because I didn't want multiple windows open, one for VS code, one for my terminal, and you want it all in one, this is, I think, such a great uh, middle ground. All right. And so let's say you find a file that you want to edit in your editor of choice. The thing is, if you follow the, uh, the documentation for super file. You can see this tutorial. If you scroll all the way to the bottom here, it says, uh, to open up a file, you can press E to open the current directory. You can press shift E. So if I go back and press E on this create.go, it opens just 
core vim it doesn't open my neo vim right now so to fix this we can actually do this export editor equals neo vim and that's actually what the documentation asks you to do as well so if i click enter and i reload i go ahead and open up super file again let's go all the way back let's go into uh slash users slash milky we have all these different files let's go into my documents here and you can search as well so let's say i want to go into my go uh, directory you can just search go and then let's go into go dash blueprint over here and let's open up this main.go so now if i click e it's going to open it up in my new vim settings uh we can just exit with just regular Q and it takes me back to super file. I can go into a different file. So let's go into uh, front end masters, go to the front end masters master version. Let's go into internal and let's just drop in over here and then type E again. You can see it opens up into my actual new Vim configuration. So it's no longer just pure Vim. So some other cool features of super file is if you hover over a directory and press m this will open up the metadata pane here and it'll actually calculate the folder size and the last modified date so this is metadata it shows me that this go directory is 2.31 gigabytes the last time this folder was modified was february 12th you can do that go by bouncing back into this modifier you can go ahead and make different windows like i said earlier and another cool thing is you can copy different values and it shows you what's copied in your clipboard. So you can see file operations to rename, point your cursor at a file and we can do control R. To copy, you can do control C and to cut, you can do control X. So let's go back and test this out. So we're here, let's go into uh, this and let's just say we wanna copy everything in this log cloud directory, I can do control C. And you can see over here, it's now saved in my clipboard. I'll actually just remove my face. So uh, I'm gonna quit, I'm gonna reopen this. And you can see here, there's nothing in the clipboard, but if I hover into the documents folder and go into the go folder, and let's say I copy everything with control C, you can now see on my clipboard, I have users slash Melky documents go slog cloud copied. And let's say, so some other nice features that we just briefly saw is if you are in a directory, you can just quickly create a new file by doing control N. You can say, uh, let's say this is just test.go. You can press enter. Now we have this new test file. And because we've set up our NeoVim, we can just press E and this opens it up. We can do package uh, main for whatever reason get out and it saves it automatically you can see now the preview has our package main if i want to delete you can do control d you can just enter confirm that deletes it and if you want to make a new directory we can just do again control n and just add a slash at the end to make new folder slash click enter and now we have this new folder which we can go in create a new file uh, file dot go e and here we go now we have this very nice uh, workflow that allows you to create everything from our editor. Uh, very easy, very nice, get you straight into any of them, do whatever thing you have, do anything you want, like funk, uh, package, I don't know, to make something on package print. And then all we're going to do is format dot print, uh, line, hello world. Save this exit. And there you go. It's already previewed into our new directory, which we created. Another thing we need to discuss is the panel navigation. So you can see here, panel is focused view by default. So S is the sidebar, which is right here. You can navigate through the main directory of your computer. We have P for the processes tab. Over here, you can see we have our open process test.go, the file which we just made earlier together. We have our metadata pane here. If you click M, this shows you like the file name, file size, we talked about this. I just think the metadata is super awesome. And again, you can still see we have what's on our clipboard over here. So another cool feature, you can press colon to open up the execution bar. You can see here, you can put a command to execute. I'm not too sure what this does. If you remove the preview tab, you can just press F. Now you can just have this full thing. I think the preview bar is pretty awesome. And if you want to completely remove the footer, you can do shift F. And now you have this full screen preview of all your files, all your directories and the file contents themselves. And if it's not a file, you can see different uh, directories moving forward. And for movement, like I said, to make a new uh, file panel, you can press N a bunch of times. And to navigate between them, you just do shift uh, arrow key or shift L 
or H, depending on what direction you want to go. If you want to go right, it's going to be Shift L. If you want to go left, it's Shift H or the corresponding arrow key. But I wouldn't know why you would need so many. It can get kind of confusing between just regular navigation and Shift, but I think it's not that big of a deal once you get used to it. So another cool feature is you can actually check how you want to sort different things. So in documents, you can press O and you can sort by name, size or date modify. So you press size, it shows you the different sizes, uh, name, it sorts it alphabetically. So I think that's a very like good quality of life feature. We have the search bar, which we showed earlier, and then there's even the selection mode. So use selection mode for bulk operations. If you're familiar with Vim, selection mode is similar to Vim's visual mode. So like this demonstration video shows, what this allows you to do is bulk select a ton of different files or a ton of different uh, folders, and you can copy them, you can paste them, cut them, even enter them, rename them. Uh, so I think it's a pretty interesting feature. I don't really see myself using it too much, but hey, it, I'm glad it's there versus not being there. So now I want to show you how I plan to actually use this in my current workflow. So if I'm in a directory I know I'm working, I'll do super file SPF. And let's say I'm in the February 18th project because I'm currently practicing for my upcoming Front End Masters Complete Go course, which will be releasing the first week of March. And let's say I'm working in the internal store in the workout store.go. If I click E, I now am fully in to my project using new of them, which will allow me to make modifications that I want in the file that I want. I can then obviously leverage my existing new of them configuration, like, like telescope to find a file that I want or fuzzy search. So I think for me, once I know I'm finished in this file, finished working, whatever I have to do, or it's, let's say I have to make a modification to this truck. Uh, I don't know. Let's just add a random field string, right? And we'll just do JSON random. All right. If I save this, I can now just click Q to get out of new of them and go back into Superfly and then or super file and do whatever I want, which is maybe go to a different project or navigate to a different pane or just go back to my downloads and check what I have there. So I think this is going to be like a very nice ground control home base for me to navigate through my different workflows and different projects. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think. Will you be checking out the link for this project will be in the description down below. If you go check it out, tell them Melky sent you and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what kind of content you want to see me making next. Again, I have my upcoming front end masters course coming up that's, that I've been working on. I've been learning Zig on the side. I'm going to get back into really focusing on building projects and different applications. So I'm hoping you guys will enjoy those. And until next time, peace out.